Welcome to the last video of the cyclone build. Now this video is all about the test, but there were a few steps that we missed in the last video to get it to the stage where it is now. So that's pretty much it for this entire build. Now the hardest thing by far is actually getting this round PVC to sort of smoothly transition, dog, uh, to smoothly transition into this uh, square intake of the top out. Now I made this little pyramid shaped block here um, which really helped and all I had to do was sort of heat the PVC while pressing down until it was formed on the bottom. Once I had the actual sort of lip of the PVC formed, I put it into the top hat, heated it from the outside and sort of just pressed it into the corners. So the only other thing uh, that wasn't in the video there was installing this outtake. So right here there's a piece of PVC that slides all the way through this hole and it probably comes down by an inch or two into the cone. So it does drop lower than the intake and that's the most important thing. One thing I'm not entirely happy with about the uh, cyclone here is actually the way that I secure it uh, onto the bin. So what I've done is I've actually got some five inch uh, flexible hose. I've cut it uh, down to a fairly short length, about the a hand span really, and I've taped it onto the cone. Now it's airtight, it's not exactly going to go anywhere, it's just I feel there's a better way of doing it. And then on the actual bin itself, or in this case it's a 20 litre bucket, I've just got a little PVC fitting here, uh, the same as what's on the top, and that allows me to clamp down to it using a hose clamp, and that works really well. So for this test, I've got this bucket here, which is about uh, two thirds of the, the capacity of my big bucket, and that's full of fine dust. So um, that's all from helical cutter heads and things like that, uh, from the bandsaw, the radial arm saw, so it's all fairly fine dust. This, this is the dust separator that's going into and the bag, I've just sort of cleaned that out as best as I can so it's only really the fine dust in there that um, sticks to the plastic. So, and this bucket here is nice and empty. So. Okay, so this is my intake here. It's no trickery. So we'll chuck that on.
Okay, so that's that bucket emptied completely. Nothing made its way out to that bag. And uh, just in the last minute there, it actually has enough suction to pick up these nails and screws and things that were on the floor when I did my sweep. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so that's the bucket nice and full. Now, I don't know how well that will show up, but it is very fine uh, dust making it through there. Uh, probably, you know, like finer than flour almost even. So it's very fine and nothing made its way into this bag. Okay, the last thing I really want to do here is just try this actually working with the tool. So I've got this bit of, uh, I think it's, I don't know what it is actually, some sort of wood. Uh, and we're gonna run it through my planer. Now my planer has got a helical cutter head, so admittedly the, the shavings are gonna be a little bit smaller than normal. Uh, but either way, it's gonna be a good test to see just how much chips escape from the cone into that dust collector. So I'll chuck them both on and uh, run this through about three times. Okay, so I did about five passes on that piece of wood there and each of them were more than one and a half millimetre thick depth of cut, so a lot of chips would be coming off of there. And, well, the bucket, if I can ever get it out of there. There are all the chips in there, so obviously that's working quite well, but more importantly, there is absolutely nothing made it into that bag. So, uh, you know, have your own say on this because I feel that this has been a great success and uh, for under $50, who can complain? Okay, well, I would say that this project has been a great success. Now, $50, not even actually for me, it was less than 45, I think. Uh, and I've got two cyclones uh, built out of one sheet of plywood, one sheet of sign writing material, and uh, they both work incredibly well. Now, uh, for all of those people that have asked questions about this thing, uh, if I haven't answered them, I will be answering them soon. I've just been at work uh, this week, so I haven't had any time behind the, real, the computer, really. Um, and yeah, I'd just like to say thanks to everyone that has watched this series so far. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, because I do a lot more videos than this. And uh, yeah, head over to my website, georgewoodshop.com. Uh, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash georgewoodshop. And if you do build yourself a cyclone, please uh, email me with a few photos and, and show me things you've changed, things you've modified and things like that, because really that's part of the fun of doing this podcast. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.